Don't let your thumbs put you out of business. And one complaint a lot of therapists have with using massage tools is, I cannot feel things. But the nice thing about this is you can perform trigger point therapy or a little bit of massage in those areas to find those tender areas first, and then to switch out your thumb and you can get a little bit more pressure that way. And technically over time too, your thumbs are gonna be more accustomed to this and you might be able to feel a little bit, or you can even place your hand right here around it so you can kind of feel the depth of the tissue that way. So that works really nice when you're using this. And sometimes the client won't even realize that you're using it, especially if you're using, well, if the client has their clothes on. And it can be used in many different areas of the body, especially the glute region. Sometimes you need a little bit more pressure in those areas. And so many therapists use their elbows. And elbows in, in general, they're less sensitive, so you can't feel as good compared to your thumbs. But just look at it, the tool is kind of your elbow in a way, so you will be able to feel a little bit. So that will definitely help. And even in the hamstring region, the calf region, the forearm region, you can use it on many areas of the body, and even right in the suboccipital ridge. So you can go into that area. And I myself, I always like to protect it just to make sure that you're not going to slip at all. And then you can feel the tissue around it. So in case it's too much pressure for the client, you can feel, feel them tense up a little bit. In conclusion, the average healthcare professional, like a chiropractic or physical therapist or massage therapist, sometimes will not be in the field a long time because they injure themselves. And we're in this field to help other people. So why not help yourself with the therapist's thumb and prolong your career as long as you can? Then?